Hello everyone, Blaze here. Uh, you can consider this a news video, a PSA, public service announcement. Basically, the, some of you guys need to know what's going on right now, I think. Um, some of you will already know. Um, it's to do with Anaplex and licenses. Um, just recently, Funimation announced that their license of Bacchino, and this is actually an Anaplex of America release, but their uh, license of Bacchino is expiring. Uh, digitally, so that's streaming rights, as well as their home video rights. Obviously, Funimation haven't, haven't actually released Bacchino for a very, very long time, and this is the latest release, and this came out in, like, 2011, I think, or something, so not really too surprising, but it is an Alipex title. It is a very good title. You should go and pick it up, because at some point, it's going to be really hard to find, and you're either going to have to pay Anaplex of America prices, assuming they re-release it, or you're going to have to pay uh, collector's prices on any potential uh, Funimation release which is now out of print or will be out of print very soon. Um, another franchise that is going out of print is Darker Than Black. So this is the second season and we also have of course the recently released premium edition Blu-ray of the first season but yeah Funimation are losing their rights entirely to Darker Than Black. Uh, that's, home, that's streaming and the home video rights so you're not going to be seeing another... The fact that Funimation We'll get into the details of it, but let's just say Funimation are no longer going to have the rights to Dark and the Black. The fact that's happening is really surprising, but yeah, this is this is it. Like these, Funimation will no longer have the rights to these, so these are going to be out of print from them anyway. And uh, yeah, if you want uh, these releases, this is already out of print. But even if you want the anime classics DVD version of the first season, or you know any release of the second season, pick them up soon because they're going to go to start going to collector's prices. But, as you might have seen in the title of this video, perhaps the most surprising of the lot, because um, there was a certain theme, both of those are Anaplex shows, and I'm talking about the Japanese company, Anaplex, rather than Anaplex of America, which is obviously an American subsidiary. But, yeah, Anaplex own those shows, so there's a theme going on. <laughs> it's a theme that's been going on for a while, as we'll get into other shows in a minute, but... Perhaps the most surprising, uh, just recently it was shown on Hulu that Full Metal Alchemist, the original series, and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood were expiring on Hulu. This is surprising, but it was also, I tended to think, well, maybe it's because Funimation are ma making a big push with their new streaming service, like they've rebranded their Funimation, haven't they, and everything. So they're going to be doing this Funimation Now service, and they want their bigger titles to be just on that service to make it more valuable to the consumer. Um, but apparently not. Um, amazingly, shockingly, I, I'm, I was staggered when I saw this and that's why I had to make the video. Format Alchemist Brotherhood and Format Alchemist The Conqueror Shambhala, which is the movie for the first series, are going out of print from Funimation. Their license for the home video and the streaming is expiring. This is insane. Like This is clearly an Anaplex thing. Anaplex must be just refusing to sell the rights to these shows again. The, because obviously I can only assume Anaplex of America are doing well enough that Anaplex in Japan are like, why would we sell it to you when we can sell it potentially, essentially to ourselves? Because that must be what's going to happen. Because there is no way that Funimation, like, unless Anaplex asked to, asked for an absolutely ridiculous sum that was like 500% more than what Funimation paid last time, not having Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood on their new platform service, Funimation Now, just seems ridiculous to me. Like, there's no way that Funimation wouldn't pay up the price. So yeah, amazingly, Conqueror Shambhala. Just this is the just uh, recently re-released version on Blu-ray. I don't think I've ever showed this actually, <laughs> but yeah, I picked that up. And yeah, all of Brotherhood. This is all going out of print. Every single release of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, the greatest anime ever made, one of the best dubs ever done, one of Funimation's biggest titles. Honestly, I, this is the best show that Funimation. Obviously, because I said I think it's the best anime ever made, and so do a lot of people. This is the best show that Funimation have ever released, and it's going out of print some five years after they first released it or so, like about five or six years. 
It's just crazy to me. It's insane that Anaplex are doing this. Like, because they must be. They absolutely must be just saying, no, you can't have these titles anymore. We want them for... We want to own the streaming rights. Like, there... For example, there is a potential for Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood to eventually be on the Funimation Now um, service again because Anaplex have uh, negotiated to have Durarara, Durarara <laughs> on that service and I think Blue Exorcist is also going to be on that service. So, for, in theory, this is actually what's going on. Anaplex are saying, no, we own these shows so we're going to be the ones bringing them to the table to you rather than you just having them outright. So they're gonna, they'll, they will approach Funimation and go, hey, we can share the, uh, you know, the, um, whatever money they make streaming on it. But to lose the home video rights as well, that is where it gets crazy. Like, Adapex releases are cool. Like, for example, if they put out a really awesome set of Former Alchemist Brotherhood, maybe I would buy it. But honestly, I probably wouldn't because this is a really nice set anyway. And I can't see what Adapex America could add, especially since half the time they don't even do, like, chipboard boxes or anything. But, yeah, I just find this baffling. And it's been a theme that's been going on for a while. Um, uh, just, uh... For Oh yeah, there's also these as well. I, uh, these weren't mentioned. These are two other, the two other Brotherhood things, but I would imagine they're probably one and the same. So the Brotherhood OVA collection, this is the UK release, but yeah, the American release is practically the same. It just comes in a DVD case. And the Sacred Star of Milos film. Again, they weren't specifically mentioned. Uh, the, the press release, or whatever you want to call it, the blog post, I think it was actually, uh, just said Brotherhood and Conqueror Shambhala, but Assuming Brotherhood means the entire franchise, that would include both of these as well. So, yeah, but this is a theme that's been going on a for a while. NIS of America no longer have the rights to Anohana. This is officially out of print. Standard uh, Premium Edition's obviously been out of print for a while, but the standard version as well is also out of print. So, expect to see this probably get released from Anaplex of America at some point, because it's a show that could easily be re-released, I think. Um, obviously, Anaplex of America licensed... Uh, Ragnaria, and these are all Anaplex titles, so in Japan as well, so it's not surprising. Uh, but that also means, of course, that the NIS releases, they, they've lost, uh, I can't, there we go. <laughs> uh, they've lost the uh, licenses to these as well. So they're the ones they've currently lost the licenses to, thanks to Anaplex. Here are some other Anaplex titles that are high profile across all the companies, really that could be going out of print in the near future and perhaps you should, if you haven't picked them up and you wanted to, you should consider starting to do that. Um, one of them is the Katana Guitari series from NIS of America. This is one of the best shows they have. I love this show. It's really, really good. Uh, I think this is the standard editions for these. I think some of these, both of these might still be available too. I can't remember. But yeah, one of the better shows that NIS have put out. And yeah, it's an Alaplex title probably go and pick it up where you can. Um, and the same for uh, Natsume Book and is that the right way? Yeah. Natsume Book and Friends, the all four seasons. They're also an Anaplex title. These all definitely go out of print. I could definitely see these defaulting back to Anaplex because this is one of the better shows uh, that NIS have put out and uh, yeah it's an Anaplex title. It's like one of the better anime out there and completely. Um Where's the other stuff? Oh yeah, uh, there's some Sentai Filmworks stuff, and the list is huge. I'll put a list, uh, I'll put a link to the Wikipedia page that lists every single anime that Anaplex are involved with. There's a lot. I'm just picking out some of the more high-profile titles that you might want to go and pick up. So, for example, Angel Beats is an Anaplex title. So yeah, if you don't have Angel Beats, I, I would be surprised if Sentai... Whenever this license expires, I would be surprised if Sentai are allowed to keep the license beyond um, that period. Just because of what's happening with Funimation and Former Alchemist, like, this surely is not going to be going back to Sentai once it, their Sentai's license expires. Um, they're not going to be allowed to renew it, basically. Um, another one as well, I it's not everyone's cup of tea, I guess, but Zam Lost Memories is another Anaplex title. Again, like... This one could also be expiring quite soon. It hasn't been re-released in ages, obviously. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see this one perhaps expire within the year. Um, assuming Anaplex obviously are interested in 
keeping it for themselves. They might not be on that one. And the same for this one. They might not be either, but Saritama is a really, really awesome slice of life comedy. Really nice art style. Dubbed in English. Like, if you want this show, perhaps consider getting it relatively, you know, in the next year or so. Because I think most licenses tend to last five years, and this came out back in, I don't know, late 2011, early 2012, or something around that area. So, uh, yeah, if you if you want this title, then perhaps pick it up sooner rather than later. Um, one of the bigger Funimation uh, titles uh, uh, that could be going out of print now, Funimation were surprisingly allowed to license season three of this. I say surprisingly because Anapets of America are obviously well into business at this point, but they did license uh, Black Butler Season 3, but perhaps we should presume that Black Butler Seasons 1 and 2 could be going out of print and expiring in terms of rights in the relatively near future. So, yeah. Um, one of the more uh, surprising things, I guess, with all this, and this is the last thing I'm going to talk about, is... The original Fullmetal Alchemist series, this is the Blu-ray box from the Collector's Edition. Yeah, uh, this is obviously not going out of print. The, the rights are expiring, but so far as we are aware right now, perhaps the, this is going to stay around for a little bit longer. Obviously, Funimation just re-released this like within you know the last six months or whatever, so... I don't know, but this could be expiring soon. Who knows, like, Darker Than Black's release came out, the... the this uh, collector's edition only came out a little while ago, and now all of a sudden it's going out of print, you know. So, yeah, perhaps this is going to follow the same trend. And I just realised something else, actually, right here. A Sentai title, Persona. Persona for the animation. This is obviously an Aniplex title. Who knows? Like, this, this, is, I would, I what? well, who knows? I kind of realised already that this was going to be the last ever Sentai release of this. There isn't a standard version of this. They might do one, I don't know, but. I wouldn't be surprised if this follows the same trajectory of the rest of them, because they sort of already have a standard release of this. You can buy the DVD that has is dual audio, all the Blu-rays that aren't, but the Blu-rays are in this set, obviously. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if this follows the same thing at some point relatively soon. So yeah, consider that a warning, I guess. <laughs> if you want any of these titles that I just mentioned, and you want any of the titles that are licensed that are on that giant um, wiki list, of like a good hundred titles, then yeah, maybe consider picking them up. Like some of them, obviously, Anaplex aren't going to be too fussed about. I think, like obviously, with the way that streaming is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, even some of the smaller titles that wouldn't have done gangbusters on home video might be of interest to Anaplex anyway, just as a streaming asset to their catalog. So yeah, it could be that even some of the lesser shows like. For example, Gwyn Saga from Sentai Filmworks is on that list. Maybe that one's going to go down the same route. But, yeah. Anyway. I'm in Blaze. I cannot... <laughs> thanks for watching. I cannot believe we're living in a world where Funimation are losing the license to form out of Brotherhood. It's ridiculous. So, anyway, yeah. I'm in Blaze. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.